by them myself. I'm tying myself. This is one of them things we get where he thinks he can put his own gloves on, tie his own gloves on, even though he's got. You know what I mean? Look, look, it's almost done. But he's almost in enough. But, but he's in a rush. That, that's like saying, I almost won, but I didn't. It don't really count. I almost won a lot of fights, but I didn't. No. We're talking about tying gloves here. It's the same sort of principle, almost. No, it's not. Almost means shit. I almost scored a goal. But you didn't. Almost, you didn't. But the keeper saves it. But you didn't. Almost. Don't listen to this guy, man. <laughs> if, if you almost score a goal, does that mean you go 1 0 up or is it still say 0 0? I just made your job easier. Huh? I made your job easier. I'm almost, I'm almost scored a goal, and a keeper it just, it just, powered it, and then you, so, you so, took so, over, you scored it so, after. So listen. It so basically, it's my assist. So you made. So basically, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I hit the, I hit the ball so fast, like Ronaldo. Yeah. The keeper powers it. Guess who's there to wait to take over the scraps? Dave Caldwell. So, put it in so, a step. When, when Dave Caldwell scores that goal. Does anybody remember that, no. he, that he missed his shot no, no. and he preserved it? No. On Soccer AM, they'll be like, oh, you see that goal, that goal Dave Cotto scored? But really, truly, you didn't score that if it wasn't for Derek hitting a power shot. Do they, do they say that on Soccer AM? Yeah, they do I'm say sure, it. I'm sure they don't. So, I'm sure they don't. So, going back to when he said he's made my job easier by pulling the laser yeah. tiger, right? He's 18 stone, blasting me to shit on pads, but that bit's made my job easier. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Uh, that, that makes all the difference, that doesn't it? He's upset now. Well, it's going, it's going well, man. You know, um, it's, it's, uh, it's a good relationship, you know. Uh, just so much mutual respect out there. You know, I respect the man from in, uh, in the ring, outside the ring. He's a family man. Um, you know, as you can see, the father's here, Jay, uh, Jordan, you know, uh, we all training here. We all got different slots and we all do the same thing. He's a good boy, he's a good guy, man. He's not a bad, bad ounce in here, man. Uh, you know, i um, always been a fan of his when he was coming up because the way he came up in boxing, you know, what, what things he's done, it's been amazing, man. He used to be a football hooligan in Poland, uh, not only for years, you know, we did a film together. And it's called Pitbull, I think. And then he goes, I'm doing a uh, thing here with the gangsters in Poland, they're going to a fight. I was like, yeah, I'll come, I'll come do it. And then uh, it gave me a good deal, good money, so I was like, done it. I hope you don't run away, man. Everybody everybody wants to come and fight, but they all want to run away. So it's pretty good he don't run away. Sometimes he runs out of gas, you know, but I believe for this one, you know, lots of Polish fans in London. And then it's only like three hours, five from his house. So he's going to be gas for this one. He's going to be excited. Be a war. Be a war. It's gonna be a massacre, man. I know for a fact.